cockroach have no right to eat. They don't have access. Right. Access. Some people wonder here, and I used to wonder when I was a child, when my grandmother would take me to, to the Church of Christ in Houston, Texas, and they would be taking the Lord's Supper, and they would take bring uh, the uh, utensils down through the, the people and at one time, you know, we used to walk around and pick it up. And, but now, they would, now, at that time, they would pass it. But when they would get to me, just a little child, they would go around around. And I wondered, what was it? Because I grew older, studied the scripture, I began to understand. Uh, just because you are a little child, it doesn't mean that you are a little child of God as such, that you can partake of the broken body and shed blood of Christ. You have to have a level of understanding. To some people, this is just grape juice and crackers. Saltine crackers. <laughs> and people who do not know it now, you know, some of them are like that. Some people will wait until time for passing up the cup and uh, will come in. And they think that as long as they get here in time, do you find? I don't know if you find here. Uh, not that I've seen uh, places where uh, people just don't think the singing is a part of the worship. Singing is a command of God. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm not going to miss the thing with the singing because all I'm going to do is take the Lord's supper. Some people call it the, the supper. I just want the supper. <laughs> But well, that's not all there is to it. We're commanded to sing. We're commanded, commanded to pray, to give. Isn't that right? Yeah. To commune. All of these commands of God are to be obeyed. Yeah. And it's not just a matter of when you get here, when well, yeah, I do it, when I get there, because that's all I go there for. And they don't come back at night. Yeah. I'm not giving any amens on that. Like one of the preachers was preaching and the people were not saying amen like he wanted them to say. He said that I'm preaching as hard as I can. I don't hear any amen. One of the ladies just slept through the sermon. She heard that part. She said, well, I'm just sleeping as softly as I can. And I don't hear any preaching. <laughs> What I want to tell the church as I close is that all the commands of God are important. Amen. Don't think you can have a cafeteria style right? religion. You go into a cafeteria and you just pick up what you want and leave what you don't want. If you don't like uh, asparagus, like I, you don't like to eat it. But uh, you don't pick around what you do. And we tell the denominations this, but some of us in the church do the same thing. We think that one part of the worship is more important than the other. And some of us, as leaders in congregations, have made that impression with some people. We sit and talk and laugh and write notes and do all of that, doing uh, the certain things. And then when it comes to the Lord's Supper, and somebody will get up and say, I don't hear it too much anymore, but it used to be to get up and say, now we come to the most important part of worship. It's important, but it's not more important than saying. Every command of God is important. Singing is important. Communion is important. Giving is important. And so it is that we who are Christians understand that. We read a few other verse, uh, words here, rather, and then we're going to close. Those who serve the tab tabernacle have no right to eat. Now, those who, who serve the table at the tabernacle have no right to our altar. Do you go to the altar any time? You don't have to. And what I mean by that is you go in prayer. Just down in prayer. But those who serve the tabernacle, the language here, those who are still holding on to the law of Moses yeah. don't have a right to it. Read. For the bodies of those animals. For the what? The bodies of those animals. The Bible says what? For the bodies. The body. Of those animals. Of those animals. Whose blood 
whose blood is brought into the sanctuary. Brought into the sanctuary. By the high priest for sin. All right, you can read the rest of it, but you have to have a knowledge of the Old Testament and understand what he's really talking about. But you need to understand now that you have to stay away from divers and strange factions. You have to be taught properly in order to become a Christian. 